The year 2022 will be a season of consolidation. That's the message from the Lagos State Governor, Babaji Desonwulu, as the state marked the annual Thanksgiving service for the new year. He also assured the people of completing some major landmark projects currently ongoing in the state. Songs of praise, dancing and rejoicing with the heart of gratitude for the privilege to see another year. Is the reason the people of Lagos State have gathered for the 2022 Thanksgiving service at the sports ground, Lagos House, Alausa, Ikeja. Present at this annual event is the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Samolu, and his wife. The national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Senator Bola Tinumbu, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Badabi Amila, Deputy Governor of the State, Kadri Hamzat, Speaker of the State Assembly, Mudashiro Basa, the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatune Fashola, and his wife, religious and traditional leaders, amongst other dignitaries. It's that time of the year to unwind, enjoy several gospel praise and worship songs from different groups. Ojo 
agbogbo mama ko emi ti fun se logun mo ni o si barere o o bata ori e tari se owo re a o si barere go aye be je suga ange e wo le fu yes ange e wo le fu yes e mu aje o ba Then the moment of prayer for the Commercial Nerve Center of Nigeria. Almighty and ever-living Father, you know the desires of all the members of these families. You know your, their desires better even than they do. We pray, Lord, you'll meet them at their points of need. Bless their hearts' desires, O Lord, and make them feel the joy of your presence all the days of their lives. As they look to the future, bless their future. Make it acceptable in your sight. And the services they render may it rise like incense before your throne, so that all they do will be acceptable to you and may be to the greater glory of your name. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name because you are a good God. Lord Jesus, we commit Lagos State Government, Executive, Legislator, and Judiciary to your able hand. Lord Jesus, be with them. Lord Jesus, be with them this year. Grant them new knowledge and understanding. Be with them. Destroy all the work of demon and darkness in their midst this year. Let this year be a year of joy, a year of, a year of blessing, a year of grace. Lord Jesus, lead them. We commit our judiciary to your able hand. Lord Jesus, be with them. Direct them. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Perhaps another side of Governor Babajide Saulu of Lagos State is seen here. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. praise God, amen, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. Afterwards, he assures the people of delivering all ongoing projects and also use the opportunity to encourage residents to get vaccinated. I'm certainly delighted to have the privilege to stand before you as your governor, to welcome you to the 23rd edition of a Lagos State Annual Thanksgiving. I think the Lord deserves a warm praise for that. We have so much to be thankful to God for, not least of which is seeing us through the year 2021, and counting us worthy to see another year 2022. The man who started this tradition more than 20 years ago, Ashura Jubala Ahmed Tinubu. I'm delighted that he has turned out in your... I'm delighted that it has turned out to be an enduring tradition, like several other things that you have pioneered during your time as the governor of the state. Let me say a big thank you to you, sir, for the vision and for honoring God here today to be in his presence. We are indeed thankful that this year's Thanksgiving, 
which is a theme of songs of thanksgiving. It's inspired by Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. And I read, From them will come songs of thanksgiving and sound of rejoicing. I will add to their numbers and they will not be decreased. I will bring them honor and they will not be disdained. We've we'll emerged from several, several issues. Is it building collapse we want to talk about? Is it several fire disasters? Is it school bullying? But we're still standing strong, still trusting in God, and fully energized to build back better and stronger. What the forces of destruction meant for evil, God is turning it around for our good. We're wiser and we're more determined than ever before to transform our state, your state, into a truly 21st century economy. We're investing our resources in various areas. In our security apparatus, we are continuing to automate our court processes. We are continuing to revamp and redouble our efforts in our mass transportation and public transportation. We are building our health infrastructure. We are increasing human capital development. And we are ensuring that the youth of tomorrow have a place in our government. It will therefore be a season of consolidation, a year in which we hope to complete all of our major ongoing projects and significantly advance our journey towards the build and the conversation of a greater Lagos that we all collectively desire. This year, 2022, we witness a milestone achievement in our rail transportation system. We expect to complete the 37-kilometer red line, the 27.5-kilometer blue line projects, and we hope to commence operation within the last quarter of this year and the second one within the first quarter of 2023. The iconic Okwebi-Ojota link bridge will be another skyline in the bridges in Lagos. I would like to use this opportunity to enjoin everyone in Lagos State to continue to adhere and to comply with the COVID-19 protocols and guidelines so that we can stand this fourth wave permanently out of our system. I want to encourage you to take your vaccine and the booster without delay. The General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, who is also here with his wife, Pastor Folu Adeboye, prayed for the governor and during his sermon charged people to cultivate the habit of praising God at all times. From this moment, every form of tragedy in Lagos State will come to an end. Father, I decree no more fire outbreaks. No more building collapsing. No more premature death. Father, I decree that from now on, any time we hear concerning Lagos State, it will be good news. Please continue to help your son, our governor, help his family, help his government, and bless each and every one of us and all those who wish Lagos State well, let it be well with them. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Almighty God says, if you are still breathing, then praise the Lord. So if there's anyone here who is still breathing, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Now why is it that God asks you to praise him if you are still breathing? I will just give you a few reasons. Reason number one is of course the foundation of it all. That as long as you are still breathing, there is hope for you. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4 Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4 
says if you are still connected to the living, there is hope for you because a living dog is better than a dead lion. If you are still breathing, no matter how low your situation might be today, you can still say tomorrow will be all right. So if you believe that your tomorrow is going to be better than your today, may I please ask you to shout hallelujah. The Lagos State Government has put God first to lead in the affairs of the year 2022 and the administration of Governor Babajide Sonolu is determined to deliver on his mandate, all of which will translate to significant improvement in the lives of Lagosians. Thank you.